So the differentiator provides us with the peaks and then our diode filters out the negative voltage, keeping everything above zero. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are gonna make a zero crossing detector slash pulse generator using an op amp and a differentiator. Now the op amp that we're gonna be using for today is the LM741. Probably the most common op amp in the world. If you're not familiar with it, it is an eight pin dip. Pin one is not connected. Pin two is our inverting input. Pin 3 is our non-inverting, pin 4 is our negative voltage, pin 5 is not connected, pin 6 is our output, pin 7 is our positive voltage, and pin 8 is not connected. So why are we doing this? Well, let's say you, need, you, or you have a digital circuit that needs a pulse input for timing, okay? But your input happens to be a very analog circuit, in this case, a sine wave. Well, what this is going to do is it's going to change your sine wave into a strong pulse. I know, I know I'm a little off here with lining up my peaks, but you get the idea. So here's how we're gonna put this together. It's really simple, and this is an excellent building block for digital circuits. There's our op amp. We have our VCC, positive VCC. In this case, it is nine volts. Our negative VCC which is negative nine volts, giving us an 18 volt swing. But not really, because the 741 is not a rail-to-rail -rail op amp. So we're gonna lose about a volt and a half off of the top and the bottom, and we'll actually end up with a 15 volt swing, which is fine. Here is our inverting input, our non-inverting input, and our output. So the first thing we're going to do is take our non-inverting input and tie it to ground. And then our signal is going to come from our inverting input. And then through our output, we're going to have a capacitor. and a resistor that goes to ground and you know what that is right that is your differentiator then we will use a diode to block off the negative voltage and a load resistor and there's our output and that's the circuit it's not hard it's an easy concept to grasp let me try and explain the workings of it to you okay so this is the in and this is the out, right? Okay. Since the op amp is in open loop configuration, the output of the op amp, V out, will be at positive saturation voltage whenever V in is greater than zero. And it's a negative saturation voltage v minus VCC when V in is less than zero. So when V in is greater than zero, V out will be at plus VCC. 
and when Vn is less than zero, we will be at minus Vcc. So far, so good, so simple, right? Now what happens is the differentiator circuit provides an output of R times C times DV divided by DT. So I'm gonna write this over here. R times C times DT divided by DV. And that is gonna create peaks where the square wave crosses zero voltage and then the diode cuts out our negative voltage. Simple, right? All right, let's look now at the actual circuit itself. Okay, so here's the actual circuit. We have our op amp, 741, our capacitor, diode, our differentiator resistor, and a load resistor. So, um, we have V plus going into pin seven, V minus pin four. Uh, Non-inverting input goes to ground. Our inverting input is where we'll input our signal. Then the output goes through the capacitor and this 1K resistor here, which forms our differentiator circuit. Then we have this 1N4007 diode here, which blocks the negative. And we have this 8.4, four, I think it is, 8.4, 8.8K resistor here as a load. And then the output goes to um, the oscilloscope in this case. Now to power our circuit, we're going to use two 9 volt batteries. So the positive from one battery is our V plus. The negative from the second battery is our V minus. And where those two meet in the middle is our common ground. All right, I'm going to hook up this circuit and then we'll take a look at it on the oscilloscope. Pretty cool. And take a look at our output pulse on the scope. So what you see here is the strong pulse when we cross zero and go positive and then that capacitor discharges down right to the zero point. The diode stops it from going below zero pulse, discharge, pulse, discharge, and that is an excellent trigger circuit for a digital signal. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, don't forget to subscribe. A big thank you to all my patrons. If you haven't checked out the patron site yet, please check it out. Um, stuff you're not going to get here on the regular YouTube channel. Uh, additional text posts, pictures, uh, once a month, a patron-only video, and if you need help with something, you can reach me on there. That's it. I'm out. Go Steelers. Peace.